Teddy Atlas welcoming you to a sold-out Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of welterweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Hound Dog's self-confidence seems to just come through with each step he takes down to the ring. Tommy Hearns is making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Nice block by Hound Dog. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Teddy, if you're training Tommy Hearns' opponent tonight, you got a power puncher going up against him. What are you advising him? Well, obviously, you want to find a way to land that power. And what you want to do is try to find a way to catch Tommy standing up. Every once in a while, he stands up a little bit too tall. Maybe you can slip a punch to the left a little bit, slip that jab, and come with a left hook, and hope again to catch Tommy Hearns a little too rigid, a little too straight. Keep working the body. Unable to make an impact there by Tommy Hearns. Simple. Tommy Hearns is hurt by a superb hook to the head. One, two, one. Hound Dog showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Tommy Hearns with a huge left hand. Piercing jab. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Hound Dog. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hadler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's gonna live up to that. So far, so good. Hound Dog's punch is far off the target. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Well-targeted right hand by Tommy Hearns. Teddy, you talked about Tommy Hearns' explosive ability. He opened a lot of eyes with his early career knockouts. He was the kind of guy that you almost scared for his opponent when he fought. Yeah, and you know, you almost worried that he needed a meal too because you looked at him he was so thin he was unassuming you know you knew the record but when you saw him 
Maybe if you hadn't seen him before, you thought you were going to see this Hercules guy, this guy with muscles popping all over. But you saw a tall, skinny guy, oh, and he up, gets leverage. Up. And boy, oh boy, does he get results. He puts guys out. Nice block by Tommy Hearns. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Tommy Hearn. Blocks the headshot. Back and forth exchange. What an impact that left hand just made by Hound Dog. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Tommy Hearns' defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Hound Dog's really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent, but sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you can get a little bit of overconfidence. You can get careless. You know, you can forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring. Things that you had to understand as far as defensive liabilities. He has to remember that. Uppercut! Oh, a good right hand by Tommy Hearn. Keep moving! Keep moving! You need to keep the head He moving. needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Hound Dog. Mark there going upstairs. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Move out of there. Halfway through this round here. Hound dogs doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Focus. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Ten clicks of the talk. Hound Dog swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And that's the end of round three. Okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. There you go. Right to bash. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs, to be honest with you, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's going to stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak just English, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is going to separate himself. Good work defensively by Hound Dog. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. That's it. They're trading blows. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. 
What's the weakness of the Hitman? Well, a lot of people might say his chin. You know, he doesn't have that great shock absorber. You know, that neck that can absorb a blow when it has to. It's a little thin, just like his body. So I'm not saying that there's, there's a little, you know, glass in that china. But sometimes the his beard... His infrastructure isn't good enough, just his physical makeup. Yeah, the, you don't have that ability to absorb like some fighters. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Turns his opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Hound Dog's attitude of being effective and aggressive worked out well. His opponent is damaged. Okay, don't fight his fight. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. <laughs> he tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Tommy Hearns is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Smart boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Hound Dog. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw a straight right down the middle. There you go. Your jab works good when you use it. You don't use it enough. Yeah. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has been a very even fight. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Hound Dog. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Tommy Hearns. Nice. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Looking good. Ah. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. Oh. Oh. Hey, Comes go. right back at him with a left hand. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Double up and punch. Halfway through this round, he had his eyes set on the uppercut but was unable to land it. Tommy Hearns blocks that punch, blocks a shot, and then lands an uppercut of his own. Not precise at all by Tommy Hearns.
He soared well after being hit himself. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And that's the end of round six. Tommy Hearns is in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing, but he can go out there and still take this. Okay? One, one, two. Well, the ability to adapt is so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Hearns is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Hearns' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. A solid true uppercut by Hound Dog. Hook off the jab. Back to the head he goes. Hound Dog's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. On, That's what I want to see. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. It's okay, let's go. Good double jab by Hound Dog. Right right Hound Dog scoring with that right hand. Tommy Hearns, his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Hound Dog. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And that does it for this round. You need to move your head from side to side, okay? We got it. I want to see that head move more. All right. Keep boxing. Doing great. You're making it yeah, hard. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, you jab, right, okay? Round number eight, we look at Teddy's scorecard. He is up on your scorecard, Teddy. He's been working more. Is it as simple as just keeping that pace up, or does he need to do something more than that? No, no, I think that so far is about that, but you yeah, answered the right question, but he doesn't need to do anything different. Why? Because his opponent is cooperating with. His opponent has to do something different. He needs to start chucking back. If that happens, then he's got to be a little smarter with his punches. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Off the target by Hound Dog. Tommy Hearns is leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Hound Dog. Double jab upstairs. Unable to connect by Tommy Hearns. Hearns' right hand scores well that time. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. Tommy Hearns is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. A little head hunting with the left. Stay away from the inside. Hearns has got a little 
Well, something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. It's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. You don't need that. I'll throw that away. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. All right, you look great, Jim. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Nothing there on the punch by Tommy Hearn. Keep your distance. Two good jabs by Hound Dog. that punch away not able to connect with the uppercut well targeted double jab by hound dog carries that punch intended for the head flush right hand to the head Burns's blocking ability is doing well for him there oh what a whiff by Tommy Hearn Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Punch him, move. Punch him. If you have Turns over that hook upstairs. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Tommy Hearns. Not able to land the headshot. Look at that combination by Hound Dog. Focus. Last 10 seconds. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Come on, get focused. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Good block there by Hound Dog. Hound Dog's left. Working well that time. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Good return fire that time. A well-targeted classic one-two by Tommy Hearn. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Headbutt, headbutt. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Nice work, nice work. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. This deep into the fight, and they're both like runaway trains, non-stop. They're finding out things that they never knew about each other. They're finding it out to our benefit, where we can sit back and enjoy it. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Keep working the jab. Mike, focus. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Everybody, move! Nice work, kid. Good job in that round. He's almost done. 
You, you had him that round. You, you're in control. Next round, let's keep busy, all right? Tommy Hearns, his momentum is carrying him well here in the later stages of this fight. Round number 11 underway. We've got an even fight on your scorecard, Teddy, but it's clear to see who's got Uncle Mo. Yeah, he came on like gangbusters, but what's not clear to see yet, and we're going to see, is how much did he use up to get back into it. by Tommy Hearn. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Don't stay in one spot. Circle. Double up. Keep working the body. Get him, get him. Oh, good exchange there. Little head knocking with that right hand. Hearns' punch didn't come close. There you go. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on a roller coaster again, like a kid. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Body shot. Nice block by Tommy Hearns. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And we come to the end of the round. In between rounds here, Hound Dog's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Hound Dog. Burns is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of box, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Nice strike after catching one by Hound Dog. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down for the first time. One, two. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Forceful two-punch combo by Hound Dog. Last minute of this last round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Hound Dog. Just grabbing on to his opponent. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Tommy Hearn. Good job protecting himself. He missed with that headshot. We said it early on, stylistically with this matchup, hardly a chance that we would go to the judges' scorecards, but Teddy, that's exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, early on, you're right. It looked like it was going to be an explosion, but fizzled out a little bit. Here we are.
Hearns' dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision. A unanimous decision.